Good morning, welcome to a virtual tour on the Hyundai Veloster that you're inquired on. Now this virtual tour, I'll be going through all the interior and exterior of the car, pointing out any scuff marks or any marks that needs to be noted at first point of sale. Now before I start the virtual tour for you, let me just give you a quick introduction of my yard here in Cairns if you haven't been here before. Now where I'm standing, this is one of our two pre-owned dealerships, holding over 200 plus cars in a given time, making us one of the biggest pre-owned dealerships here in Cairns. We've also got the brand new Toyota showroom and Lexus showroom, as well as our service and parts department just there as well in the back. Now back to the vehicle now, as you can see the car is prime stock, parked right on our front lawn here on Wellgrave Road. As you can see, nice big headlights, daylight driving lights there as well. You do have a nice black offset there as well with the orange. You got the signature grille there as well for the Veloster. Again, nice black finish there on the um, on the bottom of the uh, front grille. A little stone chip just there as well, but nothing too major. Spit an image on the other side there as well too. Now we've got the direct sunlight on the car here, so you can see any blemishes or anything like that that needs to be noted. But look, the car is still in really good condition. Clear coat again, immaculate condition. A few little stone chips, but look, again, it is a pre-owned car after all. You will get a little bit of general wear and tear. Windscreen, there's no chips or crack or anything there at all whatsoever. You've also got the windscreen priced at $34,990, which is your drive away price. Includes all your on roads, rego, stamp fees, and transfers. Work your way down now. Genuine alloys here on the front. Now, if I do recall, these are your 18 inch alloys and plenty of tread left there as well, if you can see that on the video. Little scuff marks just here. Actually, it might just be a little bit dirt. But overall, no issues there. Nice black offset again in the bottom of the uh, doors there as well. Nice black offset here around the mirrors. But color coded mirrors, blinkers, and you've also got the color coded door handles on the car. Again, giving it that nice, nice finish. The top here as well, you do have a big sunroof or a black roof glass. For the sunroof itself again gives it a really nice nice edge sporty look to it shark fin antenna on the rear nice little spoiler there as well on the back work your way down and you also got the nice turbo badge there on the side there fuel cap obviously on this side genuine alloys there on the back same thing no scuff marks at all and again plenty of tread left there Work your way around, zoom out from this angle here now, and back to the rear of the vehicle. What a very nice looking vehicle from the back there as well. We got the nice big brake lights, blinkers, rear sensors there as well. Twin exhaust in the back there, again, very nice finish, very aggressive. And you also got the rear black finish there as well, just on the bottom there. 1.6 turbo diesel. I say my apology, 1.6 turbo petrol. Sorry about that. Again, nice big brake lights here on the back. And again, very, very sporty. Okay. Open it up. Buttons just here underneath. All right. Veloster there. And nice big boot space. Parcel shelf, which obviously can come off. The boot is carpet. Anchor points there as well, if needs be. Speakers there on the side. And just going to open this up. Full sp You've also got the uh, spare tire, jack and tool there as well. Genuine from factory. Just one of your run flats there. Okay. Close that up. And you got the reverse camera, also hidden in the back there, just above the plate number. Zoom up from this angle here. Work your way down. Again, having that sun there directly through the paint gives it a nice presentation that it's definitely been well looked after. No scuff marks there on the back rim. Again, turbo badge in the bottom there. Spit an image of the other side there for you. Okay. Slowly making our way back to the front of the car, just giving you that 360 view. I don't want any surprises on delivery or on pickup for you. Just trying to be as transparent as possible. No scuff marks there on the front rims. Again, back to the front. 
just giving it that full 360 view. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, opening up the driver's side door now. Starting with the door. Nice big door there. Power windows, central locking, mirrors are all in there. Speakers, infinity speakers there as well. Cup holders are there as well too. Leather throughout, as you can see, the interior of the vehicle is just as good as the exterior of the car. All right, you get the nice orange stitching there as well throughout the door, uh, throughout the seats, with the nice turbo badge there as well. Okay, just gonna open that up for a second. So it is obviously a four seater. Again, all really good condition there. Cup holders, roof lining there, all intact. Jumping straight in now. But before I do, you get the electric seats. You've also got the genuine floor mats, a nice orange stitching there as well throughout. Same goes for the other side there as well. The dash, nice little design there as well on the dash. Okay, nice big touchscreen there. All right, all the red sun damage or anything like that. Windscreen again, there's no chips or crack. Over here, owner's manual and your service history booklet. Also here in my hand, I got two set of keys, central locking there as well. So first service there was done. Okay. There's 15,000 there, 12 months was done at 10,000. 30,000, 24 months was done at 20,000. 30,000, so we got done 30,000 there for the 45. 60 was that 40 so very very low k's and your next one isn't due until 58,000 k's there which is stamped there on the book as well so full service history start the vehicle now put your foot on the brake and press the start button get the car could rev i don't know if you can hear the crack there in the back there as well on the exhaust Quite a very nice sound to it, advice and a very nice tune. Obviously, there's an the eco mode there as well, too. Just gonna close the door for a second, just so you can see. So, no one last besides my handbrake and my seatbelt. Okay, you've also got a top there as well, which gives you distance to empty. All right, all very, very easy to use. Just gonna turn the aircon on a little bit. It is quite hot here in Cairns today. All right, so your steering wheel, nice steering wheel lever. Airbag and horn, volume controls are here as well, Bluetooth, voice command, mode to go different AUX, USB or Bluetooth audio. You've also got here, you've got the cruise control and this little button here, this goes through your different displays on the screen. Again, all very, very nice to see. Okay. And also here, you do have your paddle shifts, you can see it. Blinkers, automatic headlights are there as well. And you've also got the auto setting rain sensors for your windscreen. Now, I don't know if you can see, this is actually a heads up display. I'm just trying to see if I can get it from the camera here. There you go, just dust on that wheel arch of that vehicle. You can just sort of see it there in the daylight. There we go. Just there, so your heads up display there as well, which is a very, very nice finish to the vehicle. Okay, very, very sporty. All right. Nice big air vents, air cons, all nice and cold. Sat nav half screen or full screen. You've also got your reverse camera there as well too. Okay, all very easy to use. All of a clicker button just here as well for your settings and everything like that. All right, again, push that ignition, nice bit of orange there on the trim. You've got your fan speed and your temperature, 12 volt power point, all in there for you for your plugins. Okay, AUX USB. You've also got your charging dock there as well too. Well, there might just be a holder for your phone. Okay. I'll have to cross reference to make sure if it is actually wireless. I will just confirm. But just by looking at it, it might just be a holding dock for your phone there, but I could be wrong. I will have to confirm for you. Drive mode's here. As you can see, drive mode smart, normal, sports, eco, and smart there as well. Okay, a few different options there for your drive. Obviously, gear ratio is a little bit different there as well too for you. Heated and cooling seats here as well, which is very nice. So that's cooling, that's heating. All of a clickable button there, quite easy to use. You've also got a heating, 
um, for your steering wheel there as well too. Again, all very, very nice finish. Handbrake, cup holders, set of console. Nice and deep there as well too. So there's your interior. Just gonna show you the engine bay of the vehicle. Just so you can see and hear. No funny ticks or noises. Very clean, very neat and tidy. No funny ticks or noises there. Again, would you expect for a car with full service history? All right, there you have your virtual tour on the Hyundai Veloster Turbo. I hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.